Manchester United's season is just one game old and already some of its fans are calling for huge changes. Anger amongst supporters was bubbling up before its Premier League opener against Crystal Palace and the subsequent 3-1 home defeat only increased the dissatisfaction. The feeling wasn't provoked by anything the club had done, although the performance on the pitch didn't help, it is what it isn't doing that has the fanbase riled. The hashtag hashtag Glazers out Woodward out, which calls for the departure of both the Glazer family who own the club and its executive vice chairman Ed Woodward, has been trending intermittently on Twitter with every signing made by a rival this summer. Dissent spiked once again as news emerged that Gareth Bale, often rumored to be a Manchester United target, was heading to Tottenham Hotspur, and another player, who was reportedly admired by those at Old Trafford, Thiago Alicantara, signed for Liverpool. Dutch international Donny van der Beek has been acquired by United, but, in what has become customary from the team from the northwest, its pursuit of Jadon Sancho has become a transfer saga. We can compete with the biggest clubs in the world based on our revenue, but we don't, says Manchester United supporter and editor of independent fan website Strati News, Dale O'Donnell. It's like the Glazers have a harness on the club and it's restricting them from being its maximum best. Basically, they don't prioritize what's going on on the pitch, it's purely business. In May, the Glazer family's ownership of Manchester United hit the 15-year mark. It has been an era of incredible financial growth and declining sporting performance, all played out against a backdrop of fierce opposition from a substantial section of Manchester United fans. I spoke to O'Donnell, a staunch opponent of the Glazer family's ownership of the club, to understand why fans are so quick to blame the family in charge. To understand the depth of the anti-Glazer sentiment it is worth remembering just how much opposition there was to the American family's purchase of the club when it happened. Joel, Avi and Brian Glazer left their first game at Old Trafford in police vans as 100 officers used batons subdue a crowd of 300 angry fans who blocked the exits chanting, Die, Glazer die. Some supporters were so alienated by the takeover that they went and formed a new team, FC United of Manchester. Many wondered whether the family, who also own the American football team the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, could survive in such a mutinous atmosphere. But success in sport is always a powerful distraction and the three Premier League titles and Champions League trophy won in the first five years of the Glazers' reign, kept the focus on the pitch. The anger was always there though, and as the sporting performance has declined following the departure of legendary manager Sir Alex Ferguson, fan protests increased in scale and ferocity.